Today we are not just creating any 3D cube, we are actually making the most epic spinning cube with 3JS and guess what? If we fail, there's a penalty waiting for- Just kidding, there's absolutely no penalty. And here is why 3JS is actually really cool and will blow your mind. 3JS is basically a JavaScript framework where, where you can basically put 3D graphics on your web browser. So it's not really that stagnant and boring. No way, 2D browsers are dead, long time gone, soon they're almost dead, man. The new age will definitely be 3D and you will definitely see a lot of 3D, 3D models and 3D models and 3D figures on your and 3D graphics in your browsers. So this is what I created. I basically created this spinning cube. It's absolutely beautiful and animated and simple. It has six sides. We basically red and white. I chose those colors and I'll show you how I created this spinning cube just floating in space. So um, let me just check and see if everything is all right. Yes. So this is, you only need one haste. This is the beauty about 3JS. You can also separate this and uh, basically put it in a JavaScript folder separately and then just uh, link it to this HTML element. But let's just go through the code. So um, what we basically did. So what we basically did is uh, create a HTML element and uh, we title a spinning cube with 3.js. Uh, you create a style, you create a style for, for the canvas so you can actually display something and then you have the body. Um, later on, here is the important part that we actually want to, instead of, instead of you can either download the 3.js package or you can just uh, link it. You can just link your HTML file. So this uh, link right here, which gives you every 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 utility that you will ever need for FreeJS. So you don't have to freaking download the, the package. You can basically just link it to your HTML element. And uh, we create a scene. We we create a camera and renderer and cube. And it's actually a great way to, for the FreeJS is a is the best way to actually introduce somebody to the gaming industry because you actually learn everything that you need to to learn. You learn all the fundamentals instead of starting off with Unity. So what we do is um, we set up the scene on the camera. We have scene equals new free 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 JS uh, scene. So we instantiate a new scene with this uh, free JS uh, function. We create a new camera. We create a new camera with the perspective uh, with the perspective camera of what is it called? Yeah, it's called the perspective camera with 75. That's a field of view FOV. Uh, we have and then just basically divide the the width of your window with your inner height. Camera dot camera dot position dot z equals five. That's basically how much uh, how, how much forward, like uh, how forward do you want the camera to be? Uh, set up the renderer, set up the renderer, and uh, we create a new renderer so we can actually render something and display it. Uh, renderer slash display. Um, we create a new WebGL renderer that's actually that allows us to view anything. Now, what do we want to display? We want to set the size of the display of what, what we want to render and display just basically the screen height and uh, document that body uh, that append child. So we basically uh, set this render, uh, the, the, sorry, this renderer to the document body that we created up here. Uh, Wells, create a, and then we actually create the cube uh, with a gradient material. Const, this is how you instantiate a cube. You basically say const, yeah, uh, const geometry. You could also call the cube, but uh, we just call the geometry equals new free dot box geometry. Box geometry is basically a, a shot, uh, basically uh, a square with uh, with six sides. And then you want to add some materials that could be colors, textures, anything. Now, for, for now, we've just basically just added six colors, just white and red, white and red. Uh, cube equals new free mesh. So you basically add uh, form the mesh for the cube. Um, and here is how you do it. You basically say geometry. No, you couldn't. You couldn't say cube. Um, this is the instance of the cube that we actually create. And this is basically just the geometry. And then you mesh to for the mesh. You basically add the the geometry, which is the six sides, uh, and also. Uh, the, the materials together and that forms the the cube instance and after that you can basically you have to add the cube to the scene 
Uh, how do we handle the window resize? Basically, window uh, window add event listener resize. If anything happens, we basically just resize everything. <clears throat> and now we have this render render loop. So this is where all the magic happens for the spinning, for the animation, the fact that we can even uh, see any motion. This is where everything happened, animate. So we have a function called function animate, and then we request animation frame, and we basically request animation frame animate this. And to spin the cube, we basically say take this instance, uh, take this uh, instance of uh, of the cube that we just created, take the uh, hold on to the, the, the rotation and the x axis, and then plus equals uh, 0 0.01. This will be the same as saying. Uh, equals rotation x uh, plus yeah I have to edit that out uh, cube dot rotation dot y we do the same it basically spins around the x and the y axis um, what else render dot, dot render scene and camera and then we basically call this an animation oh sorry this animate function and we basically have all the magic right here so that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below. See you on the next one.